Gas fireplaces are becoming exceedingly popular options for homeowners today. They're easy to use and give cleaner burns than wood burning models, but they do need occasional cleaning and checkups. In gas models, the smell of natural gas and propane can attract insects inside the fireplace. They're also prone to performance issues when household dust builds up and clogs burner ports or air inlets. In this video, eFireplace Store will show you what you can do to clean and inspect your gas fireplace at the beginning of the season or whenever else it needs sprucing up. The specialists at eFireplace Store are certified by the National Fireplace Institute, which means theirs is the knowledge you should trust when it comes to your hearth appliance. Step 1. Let the fireplace cool. With safety in mind, the first thing you should do when cleaning and inspecting your fireplace is to shut off the gas and let it cool. You may need to consult your owner's or installation manual, as the procedure for this may vary from model to model. Next, as an added precaution, close the shutoff valve to the appliance gas supply. Once all the flames are out, let the fireplace cool before touching or inspecting any of the doors or media inside. Step 2. Remove and clean the front glass. Film may build up on the front glass used to seal the fireplace. This is a combination of condensation and soot. So if you have a direct vent fireplace, the next thing to do is to take the glass front or door off the fireplace and clean both sides. Removing the glass is different for each model, so check your owner's manual to learn how to do it correctly on yours. Once the glass is removed, lay it on a soft padded surface and inspect it for scratches or cracks. Also check the gasket seal between the edges of the frame and the glass to make sure it's intact on all sides. For cleaning the glass, a water-based cleaner and soft rag work best. Be sure not to use household glass cleaners, ammonia-based cleaners, or abrasive cleaners. These may cause unwanted chemical reactions or damage in your fireplace. Step 3. Remove and clean the media. Media refers to anything decorative in the firebox and can include decorative logs, fire glass, lava rock, and embers depending on your model. Before removing decorative logs, be sure you have the log placement diagram from your installation instructions. If you can't find your log placement diagram, take photos of your log set from several different angles. Once you're sure you can put them back in the way they came out, remove the logs to give yourself access to the burner and the other media. With the logs out of the way, remove any other media like embers or rock wool, fire glass and lava rock so you have access to the fireplace floor. Brush or vacuum up dust left behind from the lava rock and any other debris on the fireplace floor and walls. To clean your decorative logs, a soft cloth usually does the job. If you have fire glass, soak the pieces in a 50-50 solution of water and vinegar for a few minutes. Remove them and let them dry. Your fire glass should look like new. Step 4. Clean and inspect mechanical parts. With all the decorative media out of the way, now is the best time to clear dust and debris from the functional parts of the fireplace too. The main parts are the burner and the pilot assembly. A vacuum with a soft brush attachment works great for removing most debris and dust from both. Be sure to give the air intake or air shutter some attention. Your pilot assembly may have a special place designated to blow compressed air through. Be sure to consult your installation manual though. Your pilot assembly may include a thermopile, a thermocouple, or both. Over time, they can build up a layer of oxidation, which can cause your fireplace to turn off unexpectedly or to become difficult to light. Lightly clean away any buildup with a fine grit sandpaper or even the rough scouring side of a dish sponge. Step 5. Test the fireplace. Now that everything is clean, we can check that everything works correctly. Relight the pilot and activate the burner assembly. Your burner flame should have strong yellow tips with a blue-white base. Again, check your installation manual to confirm the proper flame pattern. Step 6. Replace the media. Turn off the main burner and put any lava rock, fire glass, embers, and the logs back in the fireplace. Once the media is back in place, light the fireplace. You'll want to verify the flames are not hitting the logs directly, but rather are curving around the logs. Step 7. Replace the glass front. Again, check your manual for instructions on how to correctly replace the glass front. You'll want to avoid any of the door gasket being pinched improperly and causing a gap in the seal. And just like that, you now know how to keep up your gas fireplace. E-Fireplace Store wants to help you enjoy the unique convenience and charm of owning a gas fireplace. So if you have questions about gas hearth appliance selection or maintenance, our NFI certified specialists are just a phone call or email away. And in the meantime, be sure to check back in at eFireplaceStore.com to shop or to learn more from our ever-growing library of articles, videos, and buying guides.
Thanks for watching.